making an eye cutter. And what I will do is I'll start off by just moving my eye layer, eyebrow layer, down to the eye so we can kind of see what we want to cut away. And if I, if I was just to kind of name what we want to cut away, we want to cut away the eye as well as the pupil because we basically want anything that's going to be shown, let's say we brought it down this far, anything behind it we want to be cut away. So we're going to start out by making a cutter shape. And one of the ways that we can do that, if you remember on our last video, we talked about turning this layer off. We're going to turn, we're going to make a copy and paste, control copy, control paste. And this is of course a clone. It's going to be exactly the same. But instead, I'm going to turn this one on and turn the rest of them off. Actually, I can leave them all on because it's going to be a cutter. It doesn't show up because as you can see, it's not attached to anything. Let me go into my drawing, and I'm going to simply make a cutter shape. I'm going to take this bit of information, control copy, and I'm going to put it on the overlay layer, because again, we know that overlay is turned off right there, and I'm going to fill it with any old color, and I can just use even Let's make a unique color. What is going to our? We use this green, and I'm gonna I'm gonna paint that. So if I unpaint that or paint it, and what I did is I used a stroke, and I'm, I'll do that again. Uh, let me cut get rid of that stroke. I'm gonna press K so you can see what I've drawn there. I'm gonna choose a stroke. And I'm going to just draw a shape. And I'm going to paint it that color. All right. Now, if we go back to our camera, this shouldn't show up because it's on what layer? The overlay layer. And we can see that it does not. But we can see that our binding box is quite large. And that's because we've drawn that shape and we've hidden it in the overlay layer. Now, right now, all of these elements of the eye are on this layer, and the brow is on its own composite. So we need to have a cutter that sits underneath that eye. So let's go into our node library and find cutter, and we're going to attach it to the eye. Now, a cutter is quite simple. I want to see the eye, so it has to go through the, and let's just put this over, the image port. And this is what does the masking, or the mat. So that shape that I created right here, I'm going to put into the mat side. And now we automatically have a cutter that cuts away all of the eye stuff. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying these videos.